Yo, what's going on? Um, this is Busy Bone Bone Thugs and Harmony, and y'all are watching Hip Hop DX. How exactly do you kind of fit into the film's narrative? Talk about your character for a moment. I think that the, the innovative and the social media part is really being played with uh, the co stars, Ash, and, and their part, but I think I was able to like hold down a certain rhythm to the movie to where the storyline was covered. You know, of course, hip hop and, and music is trendy as well. So, you know, I think that's what I added as far as the trend and, and I think keeping this, you know, the constant stream of the movie. So I think I played that role, the place where you go, the house, the, the decadence, the Bentley, that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that, that, that was a, important to me, you know what I mean, to, to be able to play that role, you know. It felt good, it felt good, it felt real good. Okay, so you talk about your character you played. Yeah, 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 it, that was my character, but as far as their, the, the, the role that it played in social media, it was, I mean, I'm still kind of learning about it, because I'm watching the movie, and, and it's, I'm still picking up on new things, but from the premiere, from what I've seen, and from the, the, the comments of the people, it's like, Nobody really is talking about social media in that way, and it's humorous and accepted and, and new, like just the new things that they talk about. Like they say words like jellyfish for, for certain stuff, and I definitely see like it being trendy and like before it's time, you know what I mean? Like something new, something like, you know, fast times are rich, my high type vibe, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. How did it feel to be, you know, acting alongside, you know, your bone thugs brethren? Because they have a few cameos as well outside of your character. It's what's the difference between acting alongside them and opposed to, you know, actually making music? I mean, the acting part, we really don't need to see each other because we do the scenes at different times. But um, to be in a movie with them, I think it's like the first time that I was in like an like actual movie, you know what I mean, with them because we always did mu movies separate from each other. But um, yeah, it's, it's cool, it feels good, you know what I mean? Because we're, you know, we're back doing what we're doing on the road now, we got our second win, so it's good, it's good. It, it just adds to the legacy, adds to the saga of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay, okay. so this isn't the first time you know, you've acted. Um, you know, you're in Cutthroat Alley. Well, that was a small part. I say jacked up more than anything. And then I did another uh, movie with Sherman Hemsley um, called Color of a Dream, but that hasn't come out yet. That still didn't surface. To, so that was something that I had shot. You know, Sherman, uh, Mr. Hemsley passed away. So I take those kind of things like, I don't want to ever forget those accomplishments that I've made, whether it's hit the screen or not. And um, jacked up, but definitely is the one where I was able to do my own thing and kind of hold down a movie. I played the bad guy basically in that one. With this one, I'm kind of the good guy. Uh, I'm in a relationship, you know, so it's... How those, you know, those roles kind of, you know, evolved your approach to acting? And I guess, you know, where are you as an actor um, in terms of, you know, you learning the art of acting? Because I know that transition. I started out with, I can do this. I, I, I really think I can do it because I've always been on stage you know, my whole life, whether it was talent shows or break dancing or the news or I always been, you know, fit for that, you know. So I'm at the point to where I can. I can. And and if I'm accepted and it works out, then I think I probably would grow then. It's sort of like how Will Smith did. You know, Will Smith just went in there having fun, being himself until, you know, Quincy and the other one sat him down and said, okay, this is getting serious, they're starting to like you, you need to start, this needs to be what you do, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to whatever else you're doing. And so I'm gradual, you know, just gradual with it and whatever happens, happens, you know. So I guess, you know, are there any actors or just films that stick up in your mind to where, you know, you say, I want to, you know, have this kind of standard of quality in my acting? Um, Only actor I could see like that is Cuba Good Gooding Jr. He's like one of the best actors I've ever seen in my life, like as far as where he can take a role and the I can do that um, 
mind state. But not only does he have that mind state, but he can really, really do it on an acting level. You know what I mean? So it's like a step above what I'd be thinking. So that's somebody that I kind of look at like, yeah, okay, yeah, that brother can act as he can act. You know, that's something to strive for. He's an actor. And I, I can act, I think, you know what I mean? But it, he's an actor. So how did like working with uh, Ice-T? It's cool. Ice-T, cool. He, um, I knew him from back in the days before he went down to New York and he sat down and he talked to us about being in acting. And this was like, oh my goodness, this was before Easy died or passed away, excuse me. Um, so I remembered him all the way from back then. He didn't really remember it because when he went to New York, he never really was, you know, you know, doing the music thing with, you know, the L.A. scene so much as far as hip hop. Blah, 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 blah. Then I met him at a gang prevention with Easy E way, way, way back in the days. You know what I mean? And but it was great to see him again and everything he said to us about Hollywood or acting or anything. He, we, I watched him make that materialize on Law and Order. So I thought that was crazy, you know, just to see that what he said happening in action and him not remembering he told me it. That was cool, man. It was real cool. But yeah, but as far as acting with him as well, cool as well. It's, you know, his fan base is cool. He added to the movie. Not cool, his fan base is massive. And he added to the movie. You know what I mean? Like he made it, he made it that he made it that movie, you know? So, yeah, definitely. Always ice, ice. Got you. So I guess what do you want people to take from this film? I don't know. It's fun. I, I just think it's a cool movie that when you're sitting down, having you some popcorn, glass of red wine, you know, some medical, you know, medicinal, or whatever you do, you know, I think it, it, it's an enjoyable movie. I think it's, you know, it's hip. It's a here and now movie.